Hello again and welcome back. My name is Panu and I'm to design and build this 15 meter liveaboard cruising sailboat and document the process right here on the YouTube. So far I've been doing mostly the design work of the boat, but now we are in the process of building the workshop for this project. I have also designed and built quite a big CNC machine for this project. You can check the videos of that process right around there somewhere. We will continue now where we left last time by doing the floor and the foundation for this workshop and uh, let's see what happens next. It is the next day after the pour of the concrete. And let's check it out how this looks like. It is solid concrete now, looking very good. Bit of unevenness, but it's all right. I'm just glad that the molds hold up. You can see that there is some distortion in some of these mold frames. Everything seems to be fine. All righty then, it's next day after the concrete pour. Unfortunately, everything went as they always do when there is a hectic situation where things have to happen quickly. You just don't manage to film everything like you imagine you would. But I got this uh, short footage of pouring on this side and uh, I think that tells everything that's needed. After that it got already dark, so I wasn't able to film anything anyway. But okay, we managed to pour the concrete in all of these molds and I'm just glad that they hold up well enough so that nothing really did broke. Uh, a couple of screws were undone, so I just put them in there and everything is fine. Some deformation can be seen maybe back there, but it's okay. The main point is that the top surface is good enough to put those legs of the shed on them, so that's the main thing. Now we'll keep break for a couple of days of this work. It has been a very hectic week and we continue next week by taking these molds off and preparing this surface to pouring the floor in. That's the thing I'm not going to do. They are professionals that will do the floor, they have the proper equipment and they know how to do it, so I will happily give that job for them. After the floor is done then we can get the crane in here and start assembling that workshop. I'm looking really forward to that. There's not yet sight of the winter coming just yet, so it's a matter of weeks now, so fingers crossed that everything goes well and we got the shed up before snow comes. Looking very good. Alright, I am here to get some reinforcing net for the floor. This might be it. Or that. Let's see if I can find a staff somewhere around here. Alright, I'm here in the site. It's Saturday day, not any morning anymore. And I'm just dodging these unbelievable rain showers that keep coming and dropping not only water but some kind of smooshy, snowy, watery, wet, cold and awful things on me. I'm just here to dismantle the molds. Concrete came up nicely enough and this weekend's agenda is to put these reinforcement nets on the floor here and the floor maker should come on Tuesday so there's that. It's going to be a little cold next week below zero and that's a little bit annoying. We should have done this a month ago so that way the weather 
would have been better for pouring concrete, but no can do. Now there's a bit of a break in the rain, so better get going with this. Right, I got all the molds removed. Now there's complete concrete foundation all around. It came quite well, I think. Uh, there's a little bit high spot over here. Maybe a little bit of low spot back there and over here, I think, as well. But mostly it's quite all right and it's definitely enough for this kind of uh, tarp tent kind of shed. Now the sun is already going down, so I will continue by cleaning this all up. Uh, the temperatures will drop under zero to the freezing tomorrow, I think, and uh, I have to get all this uh, dirt and stuff away from this area, otherwise they will freeze there and it's difficult to remove. You gotta do what you gotta do. Landscape has changed a bit this morning. It's the official first snow, I think. Yeah, it's quite cold and miserable right now, but it's okay. This is maybe the last day to do this kind of work. So I'm gonna install these reinforcement nets now. I got them laid down last night and uh, now I'm just putting them together and so that they stay in place. And then I have to cut some of the excess from here and. That's about it. I just try to get this over with. Right, I'm losing the light soon. It's getting windier and colder minute by minute, so the batteries die very quickly here. But now I have cut all the reinforcement steel in length and uh, all the excess parts have gone on that end. So no extra stuff here, which is very good. I'm just gonna finish this portion and uh, then I'm gonna put this entrance here. There is some excess rods here, I will put them in here to reinforce this driveway. And last thing I'm gonna do today is to put these things under the net. The rods should be at least 30 millimeters off the ground. And that's basically it. Tuesday, the floor guys will come and pour the concrete here and make the rest of the stuff. Pretty excited about that, but now it's getting really cold without gloves and I think I'll finish that and go to eat something and then I come finish this this job and it's done. Another thing done. It feels very good. 
it would have been so nice to get this a couple of months earlier, but no can do. But now my fingers are freezing and everything is freezing and the wind is picking up and it's very cold wind, as you can imagine. But we will see on Tuesday. I hope. Another big day. The scenery has changed in the winter wonderland overnight. That's okay. Uh, fortunately, this snow is just this kind of powder snow. So now I'm gonna blow the snow out of that. And today we're going to pour the floor. And the weather is actually surprisingly good. It's not very cold. It's uh, right around zero. After the pour, we're gonna put some insulation layer on top of it to prevent it from freezing. Fingers crossed, everything goes well, and uh, let's get on to it. Floor making crew should be here soon, so I better go and blow this snow out. I just got and rented this kind of leaf blower thing. Never used one before, I really hate those things. But, well, you gotta do what you gotta do.